Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my final interview of 2021. My name is Maher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Erica Rakam from Chicago. Hi, Erica. How are you doing? Hi there. Thanks for having me today. Thank you for being here. So Erica has passion in converting and highlighting each job seeker's unique value and crafting content. She has industry leading experience in multiple top executive outplacement and resume development firms, and she understands what's working. So Erica, my first question is, what's working in the resume world? So how can job seeker have this top resume that will get them the interview or get the notice of the recruiter? Sure. The most important thing that we're looking for in a resume right now is a clear target and theme within your content. A lot of people feel like they've been pretty straightforward about what they are looking for, but you really can't expect the hiring manager or the recruiter to connect the dots. They may or may not be an expert in your field, so you need to make sure it's very apparent exactly which role in their organization you're targeting and how your experience translates to their needs. So do you agree that every job seeker need to customize their resume when applying to different jobs? At the very least, customize the target title and the name of your file. So it might be your last name, your first name, and then the specific title that you're targeting. That helps them tremendously. They can align your goals with their organization and see where you might fit very quickly and easily. Um, if you have a little more time, it can be beneficial to switch out some of the keywords, maybe even a couple of soft skills, mm -hmm. and maybe reorganize accomplishments to put the most relevant ones at the top of the list. And you mentioned keywords. We know that the applicant tracking system makes those keywords uh, highlighted. So do you, uh, do you agree that job seekers need to put their resume and cover letter and use the same keywords or it all depends? Resumes and cover letters are subjected to data mining. LinkedIn profiles are also subjected to data mining. They will look for very specific keywords and word clusters. Mm -hmm. You can find the keywords embedded within the job description if you're not confident highlighting those out or picking those out yourself, you can use some common tools like job scan or resi match. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't go for an 100% match because you'll make yourself crazy or you'll just be copying and pasting the job description, which isn't a good idea. Uh, but it can help just flag what are some things that maybe you haven't mentioned. And then, and then if they're relevant, you can plug them in. And finally, in terms of cover letters, I know that it's debating between recruiters and even career coaches. Should we include or not include? And some applications require cover letter and some say it's optional. So what are your thoughts about cover letter? I would always include a cover letter, even if we see um, research saying that low percentage uh, reading rate on cover letters. Mm -hmm. The people who do read them are usually the final decision makers. So it's in your best interests to include one. Make sure that um, you showcase your professional accomplishments and communications. Yes. You can provide context for the reason that you're targeting this role. And you can even align your values and mission with theirs. Thank you for those great tips, Erica. I really enjoyed it. And I hope the listeners will implement some of the tips you gave. So for those who are listening for the first time or watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Erica a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you're going to be kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, some of them and make comments. So tune in next time for another question with Erica.